We have had a great deal of trouble trying to figure out how to express what the film is about in a, in a concise, short sentence. This is about a musician who is determined to follow his own muse by finding others that he can learn from. In the process, he goes through klezmer, hip-hop, funk, also classical. Everything that he wants to learn, he finds someone who can teach him and bring him along that. Oh my God, memories, they aren't even mine. The dry wind wails, and my song is blown away. One of his videos has over two and a half million hits on YouTube. Here's someone who is, has an incredible following at one level, but is unknown at another level, certainly amongst the, the, the people who are commissioning editors. So we had to really demonstrate that there was something there for them to buy into. It's basically the beginning of uh, his British incursion, if you can call it that. My partner has always been fascinated by a film by another Montrealer called 32 Short Films About Glenn Gould. And it's a fictionalized version of the famous pianist Glenn Gould's life. And every time you see one of these short films, you see a different facet of his character. It's a kaleidoscope. So he thought that Josh's story lended himself to this approach. It's also a bit of a mashup where you combine different styles and things, and I think that reflects the kind of mashup quality of music that he produces. So as a, as a film, it takes a bit of getting used to. We're moving from one segment to another, but that also reflects the kind of his approach to music. I found this sample. Then I took this one and put it in the same key. Miraculously, they're at the same speed. And one comes from like the 30s, one comes from the 70s, and they go together. It's absurd. I think the line between documentary and fiction is a false line. I think there is only telling stories, and I think there are only strong characters.